So welcome back. It is uh, week number four. This is a course called Normal Life. My name is David Leslie, and this week we are dealing with a subject that terrifies me, which is prejudice. Um, this is not a religious course in any way, and I would never call myself religious, but I have been deeply impacted by the life and writing of Jesus, you know. Um, in, in his writing, he, he did something amazing which was at the time where he grew up, which was in um, what we now know as kind of Palestine. Uh, the religious traditions of the day were, were uh, very external, it was very showy. It was all about how people appeared, you know. Um, Jesus came at that time and he kind of cut through the noise and maybe if your parents are religious or if you have some kind of Christian background, you'll, you'll remember the story where he's sitting with some guys and, he, and girls and he says to them, You've heard it said that if you kill someone, that's murder. But I'm saying to you that if you think about killing someone, it's murder. You know, and then he's saying, you've heard it that if you sleep with another man's wife, that's adultery. But I say to you that if you think about sleeping with another man's wife or vice versa, that's, that's adultery, you know. And I, and I think in the conversation of prejudice, that's incredibly helpful. Um, I think if one thing is obvious, it's that how little distance we've covered into dealing with transformation in South Africa. You know, I think a lot of ways we kind of glossed over the idea or the need for transformation, although the Truth and Reconciliation um, Committee and work was amazing. I don't fully think we've dealt with transformation fully. And because of that, there's prejudicial ideas and racism keep popping up in our society, like you saw in Parliament, like we're seeing in our universities, in our schools, in our daily life. Um, racism is still a very big part of our culture, you know, and and I, and, I, and I think part of it is this idea that we've got used to, just as as people Jesus was, was with it in Palestine, we've, we've got used to putting on a good front, you know, we've got used to kind of like dealing with the exterior and making sure we don't portray racism or don't portray um, prejudice but I don't think we've actually dealt with our hearts. And if we're going to make connection our cause, we really need to deal with, with what's inside us. We need to confront the realities of how we think. Because if we think racist thoughts, the reality is we're racist. You know, if we think prejudicial thoughts, the reality is we are prejudiced. Whether we act on them or not is, is actually irrelevant. If we're going to create connection, we're going to have to go to, to the depth of where that's found and um, prejudice and racism will, will stop us from coming towards other people and they'll act as a gate people and so we really need to deal with our hearts in that. <laughs>